Hi friends, welcome back to my channel. So today's video is going to be a book unboxing. So I have, I have three different companies that I received books from, well, that I got books from. And I figured I would just unbox them with you guys since there is not going to be a book box battle this month. I already unboxed my Owl Crate for January in the in the 24 hour readathon vlog that I did. So if you want to see my Owl Crate unboxing, I'll have that video linked. So this is the Fairy Little Unboxing, also my book of the month picks, and then some books I got from Abe Books. I wanted to address a couple things first. I understand that my concealer for some reason looks a lot lighter on camera. I don't know if it's got to do with my white balance or the or the blush that I put on, but in person it doesn't look like this. So I know that. And then also I have a severe bat case of the hiccups right now and I cannot get it to go away. I've tried everything. Um, so I'm going to try and edit around it as best as I can. But if you hear me hiccuping, I'm sorry. Yeah, I think that's all I wanted to address. We're gonna get started with the unboxings because I know it's a lot. I'm also sitting at my desk just because it was more comfortable. And I also have my cart here with any books that I could need to talk about. Um, that was something I also built recently. So I'm gonna do the Abe Books unboxing first. So I, when I first, got into book tube and stuff I was shopping from book outlet a lot and they have super cheap prices and I've been trying not to shop with them anymore just because there was a lot of controversy surrounding them last year and I don't support what they were doing so I haven't been buying from book outlet but I've been trying to find a like retailer an online retailer that is cheaper I know a lot of people like book depository but they they like take a super duper long time to ship and so I believe a books goes through like local and like smaller independent bookstores so I decided to give them a chance and I really liked I really liked my experience so the first book was Loveless by Alice Oseman I saw this book and heard about this book and the main character's name is Georgia so obviously me being um the vain person that I am I just I thought it was cool that there was a book about a girl named Georgia um and it says Georgia has never been in love never kissed anyone and never even had a crush but as a fanfic obsessed romantic she's sure she'll find her person one day and I was like um me and then I believe we're just following the story of Georgia, who is an asexual, aromantic girl trying to navigate through romance. So, yeah, I think that this is a series, maybe. I'm not sure, but I really, really liked this copy. It's like a really bright bubblegum kind of pink. Um, the next book is The Female Persuasion by Meg Wallitzer. This is another college set story, I believe. I think that this one is set in university as well, but um, The Female per Persuasion, we are following the relationship, I believe, between a college-age student and her professor, and it says that it's a novel about power and influence, ego and loyalty, womanhood and ambition. So... I don't have a really good reason for picking these books. <laughs> and then um, this is totally because of um, Kat from Paperback Dreams. I watched her reading vlog on A Little Life by Hanya Yanagahara, I believe is how you pronounce it. And I was interested. So I've heard very differing opinions on this book i've also heard a couple other people say that it almost like romanticizes trauma in a way which is not good and it is like a very hyped up book in the booktube community almost where there's like a sort of like fear of missing out surrounding it um i am not sure when i will pick this up um i wanted to just branch out into other genres so that's why i picked up this book and why i picked up a lot of these books so i will let you guys know if and when i read it and what i think about it 
if I don't think it's for everybody, I will probably state that. Um, but the book is beautiful. And it was the National Book Award finalist, as well as the Man Booker Prize finalist. So it seems like a really, you know, highly appreciated novel. So we'll see how that works out. So those are the books that I got from Aid Books, not sponsored, but I would love if it was. <laughs> I have been subscribed for Book of the Month for, I think like six or seven or eight months maybe. And it is probably my favorite bookish, bookish subscription. I have been considering um, pausing my Fairy Loot and Owl Crate, which I did for the month of February. And I'll get into that when I unbox my February Owl Crate or Fairy Loot. Um, but Book of the Month is one that I've never wanted to pause or cancel um, because it is such... I just like it as a subscription. Again, not sponsored. But if they want to, my business email is down below. Um, <laughs> I just think it's such a great company. It is really inexpensive for hardcover books and I feel like anybody getting into reading, it's a really great subscription for either yourself or to gift it. And I'll have them linked down below because it is a great deal. And once again, I'm not sponsored, but I know that like so many other booktubes are. And I know that there is a coupon code FEBREADS going around right now where you can get your first box for $9.99. And I'm 95% sure that I found that out from Elias's video. Which by the way, Elias's birthday is the 7th and mine is the 8th. So I felt like a kindred spirit, but that's just personal. These are the books that I got. So for the February picks, I picked out Ho! Honey Girl by Morgan Rogers. Do you see the cover? Because that's why I selected it. Um, I love this dark purpley fuchsia color with the little yellow book of the month thingamajigger. And they always like mark their books too with what month it's from. So this was February 2021, obviously. And even make it, okay. This was their contemporary romance pick, I believe, for the month. And they always do like different genres. So if contemporary romance isn't your thing, that's fine. Um, it just says, with her newly completed PhD in astronomy in hand, Grace Porter goes on a girl's trip to Vegas to celebrate. She's a straight A, hardworking achiever. She is not the kind of person who goes to Vegas and gets drunkenly married to a woman whose name she doesn't know until she does exactly that. So this is a sapphic romance and we are following Grace and her really fun story. And this is super like short, but I'm excited. So obviously that. And then I just went through their book of the month finalists and their top picks for the year. And I picked out, well, the book of the month finalist was The Vanishing Half by Britt Bennett. And then I also went through their romance picks and I picked out Beach Read by Emily Henry. So for The Vanishing Half by Britt Bennett, essentially we are following two sisters, twin sisters maybe, I believe. And essentially it just says, twins inseparable as children ultimately choose to live in two different worlds, one black and one white. Um, so that's the little blurb they give. And this was the book of the month, book of the year, I actually believe. Um, which is why it's got a little gold sticker. How cute. Um, so um, the reason that this drew me in so much is, I talk about it in my building my TBR cart video, but my senior year we had a comparative lit class and I was really, really interested in reading at that time. And we had to write an essay on the passing, which is very similar. We only read a small excerpt of the passing and I don't know who it's by. And I know that this book is emotional and heart-wrenching and beautiful. And I wanted to read more, not nonfiction, but just more meaningful books. I don't know. I feel like I read so much fantasy and science fiction that I wanted to just dive into something else. So we have The Vanishing Half. And I feel like that kind of falls into the category with like a little life in the female persuasion. Like that type of story. They're both, they're all stories, but they have like more meaning. I don't know. And then like I said, the final book was Beach Read. This was like their top pick for romance. They had their romance section on your add-ons. And I don't even know what this is about. But I really liked the yellow. I love their book covers. Um, and it just 
says Augustus Everett is an acclaimed author of literary fiction. January Andrews writes best-selling romance. When she pens a happily ever after, he kills off his entire cast. They're polar opposites. So I'm assuming it has something to do with the beach and them reading. Who knows? Kind of excited though. Um, I will say that I'm really, really excited for Honey Girl this month. I've just been hearing such great things and their blurb on it was like when a Virgo rushes off to Vegas to get married and I was like iconic. Really made me laugh. All right, now we're onto the fairy loop box. Sorry if this seems like I'm just rushing through but I feel like my unboxing videos are always so long and I don't want this to be so long. Um, but yeah, like I said, I did pause my fairy loop now crate subscription for the month of February. I am really debating keeping them and my main reason behind that is because the theme was Greek mythology, pretty much the same theme as Owl Crate this month so I thought that, that would be better because we'd be able to compare more but this for some reason got held up so much, I don't know, but um, there is a wooden spatula, we got one of these quite a while ago that was a spoon. Um, not my favorite item to receive in a book box, but this would be good for eggs. So, um, it just says, did you know food is infinitely more scrumptious when you're in love? It's by uh, Julie Betty, The Lovely War. Coolio, it was designed by KDP Letters, who I'm pretty sure designed the last spatula. We have a book sleeve, which I always love getting book sleeves. They're one of my favorite parts of the book, uh, these bookish boxes, and it is inspired by Circe by Madeline Miller, and it was designed by Chatty Nora. It just says, but in a solitary life, there are more rare moments when another soul dips near yours as stars once a year brush the earth. I really like this pattern. It's actually one of my favorite book sleeves I think we received. Obviously my Cruel Prince one will always hold rank, but this one is really, really beautiful too, and this can fit <laughs> nice and comfy so these are just nice if you're traveling you can put like if you're really big into annotating you could put like your little tabs a pen something like that in this pouch it's really nice convenient this trinket tray which is got artwork done by Tara it is a cupid and psyche trinket tray um we're gonna go through with these next couple things because it's looking like a lot of its paper uh tarot cards who are these people don't know oh that's because haven't read the book um it is three and four of wands they are designed by rs28 and inspired by the wrath and the dawn by renee audier <laughs> haven't read it but it is on my shelves and these are beautiful so that's great um we have a print camp half blood i'm assuming also designed by rs28 i believe this is a print from percy jackson if i'm not wrong Nope, I am correct. <laughs> and then as far as these little packets go, we have an exclusive metal bookmark, again designed by Tara. And I love these little tassel bookmarks. They had one from Nevernight a couple boxes ago. And then something that I was not looking forward to a medusa iron-on pouch we got another one of these from the starless sea a couple months ago and it's still sitting in my desk to this day i don't have anything to iron them onto but i do love these envelopes so that's good we've got the bookmark um fairy scoop which i'll open in a bit an art print with a dear reader letter and you guessed it it's lore by alexander bracken um i will say i do prefer this cover to the um, Owl Crate exclusive cover. I have two copies now, but I definitely think that the Fairy Loot one is ex exceptional. Um, the dust jacket is beautiful, and the spine or the pages are yellow, like this yellowy gold kind of sprayed edge, and then we have stencil of a snake. So I'm absolutely in love with this. But this is what I'm getting fed up with. Just quite a few duplicate copies at this point. And I'm just not enjoying it as much. So it is definitely kind of annoying. 
beautiful end pages. Of course, they are not coming to play with their exclusive editions. And then some art on the reverse of the dress jacket. But, I don't know. If you guys are subscribed to both, uh, let me know what your feeling, feelings are pertaining to that. And, yeah. I think if it was only like a once a year thing, I wouldn't be too bothered. But the fact that this has happened multiple times, like back to back, month to month, that's what's kind of frustrating me. So... I have two editions of them. Um, I was actually thinking about going through my collection once I move my bookshelves upstairs. Going through all of the duplicates I have of like fairy loot editions and the ones that I preferred I would obviously keep and then the ones that are still beautiful, beautiful but not my favorite. I would probably um, do a giveaway and like gift to a subscriber. So if you guys would be interested in that, let me know. I know, like I said, these boxes are super expensive and I know that there are constantly wait lists for them. So I know that not everybody can get them. And I have been fortunate enough to get them for these past couple months, but I would be gifting some additions. That is everything in the box. Um, but yeah, I've been chatting for way too long. I wanted to keep this a little bit shorter, but I know it's not gonna be um if you guys would be interested again in a giveaway of the other editions of the books please let me know because i'll definitely do that um i'm almost at 400 subscribers which is crazy to think about um Um, but I just wanted to make this video to show you guys what I got from Abe Books, uh, my book of the month picks, and then my fairy loot unboxing, and to let you guys know that there won't be a book box battle for the month of February. I won't be unboxing either of them, and I know that they're really popular videos among you guys, um, but I'm just gonna take a break and reevaluate and see where I am at with fairy loot and owl crate, and at this point, I've branched out into other genres that while I do love receiving these boxes and getting them since I'm reading other things it's not worth it to be paying collectively like almost $85 to get two copies of the same book when I'm not really even into fantasy if it is something again that I'm anticipating or something then I would go out and purchase it myself if that makes any sense but um yeah that's going to be it for today's video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. I will have Abe Books, or maybe it was Thrift Books. I think it was Abe Books though. Um, book of the Month with that coupon code. And I'll also link down Elias's video where he unboxed all the Book of the Month picks because that's where the initial link for the coupon is and I want him to get his cred. So um, yeah, the Book of the Month with the Feb reads. And then I will also have Fairy Loot linked down below in case you guys want to check it out and join their waitlist. Um, it still is an amazing subscription. I just don't know if I can continue on with both of them is what I'm trying to get across. So I hope you guys are having a great day. I hope you're staying super safe. Wear your masks. And as always, I will see you guys in my next video. Bye.